Welcome in everybody to another episode of the after show that is known as the challenge. We are the after show for the challenge episode 14, the best of enemies. I've got my girl Pam with me tonight. Jenna is out, Pam. She is out celebrating her engagement the whole week. She can't be bothered with our little internet show and I don't blame her, Pam, right? Nope. She's got, she's got a ring on the finger and a wedding on the brain. She yeah. does. It, People should go out there and just comment, comment, comment all over her Instagram page and just let her mm -hmm. feel the love from everyone around the around the world that watches the show. Yeah, absolutely. And you guys can see her uh, her man. So check it out and um, wish Jenna a happy congratulations and all that good stuff. And, and we Jenna, will see we her, love and, you. and we will hopefully see her next week. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Tell us all about tell us all about it. Post engagement bliss she will be in. So this is yep. fantastic. Um, let's get into the episode. There's not too much I, I want to talk say. About. Sorry, Dan, you're next because I got engaged about a year ago this time. Jenna got engaged, and I think Dan, dun dun dun, dun you're next so? year this time. We've got to have Dan get announcing his engagement. All right, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get that right lady involved. We'll see. I've got someone. I've got I, someone. So we'll talk after the show. Oh, you got someone for me? All right. Well, we will see. Um, all right. Let's let's get into it here. Um. The only thing I really wanted to talk to about before was the fact that Gore, uh, Corey talks to Anissa about wanting to go against Kyle um, at the beginning of the episode. That's his. He wants Kyle. Oh, right. So much happened that I almost forgot about that. I know. It happened. So it's the only thing I want to talk about before we get okay. into the challenge, sure. really. All the other storylines, did you like before that? I forgot. Like, I, I, luckily, I wrote them down, Pam. Yeah. Really, all blah to me. I always do, and I didn't tonight because then I was like, "Oh, there's a lot of exciting things." So I'm okay. There's so much more, but yeah, he wants to go against Kyle, and my whole time I was like, "Oh man, Kyle, please win the daily challenge because the house is going to be screwed if you and Anissa win," and that's exactly what happened. Right. And I was like, oh, "Look." Everyone's been hating on me on the comment section saying that Dan's conspiracies are getting to be a little much. <laughs> and I'll, I'll admit, I do like to just put them out there because I like stirring the pot. And I don't even believe in this conspiracy I'm about to tell you, Pam. Okay. I don't, but... I'll tell, in fact, I don't want to believe this conspiracy okay. I'm about to tell you, or else I wouldn't watch the show if I believed it. But there was, no one got to watch each other compete tonight. So no one knows how fast anyone competed this challenge. And the producers didn't show us a time limit for anybody on this screen. So in theory, the producers could literally pick anybody they wanted that actually finished the challenge to just say that they won it. I mean, and, I don't and, and believe Pam, that that's true. Because... I know, Pam, I hope it's not true. I don't want to believe it's true. But like, wouldn't this be the team that you could break that for? Because they all knew Kyle and Anissa were going to get voted in no matter what, unless they won. I mean, I'm so so glad that Kyle and Anissa won because it did it was like I'm surprised this episode wasn't called a revenge is best served coal this best served coal I mean like honestly but um I, I I I like where you're going with this but I don't think they like legally can I think they can't just fake it completely I, yeah, I and I don't want them to I don't obviously I don't yeah. want them to and I don't even believe this conspiracy but that it's all lining up too perfectly it's because very perfect Anissa and Kyle both got screwed over by their partners last week or whatever mm -hmm. and then they get to win the next challenge and kind of tell their partners it's such a great storyline is my point oh That's everything the yeah this was a sweet a sweet unfolding beauty of us of us episode like where everything led to something else and then yeah we'll we'll Right, and it, it almost, but my, I guess my only point is it almost seemed a little too perfect. So I just wanted to start off that, please comment in the section below. I know that they all will and be like, this is a bunch of garbage, but it's still, to me, it was like, man. Are your haters from Boston? No, no, but when I get, when I get fired up about something, I put the Boston accent on because okay. uh, it's the closest accent I could do growing up because that's the closest place that I lived to that had an accent. Okay. So, uh, yeah, well, let's get into the uh, mission undercover, which okay. is an awesome mission. They have to go under. Oh, yeah. They got to pull along the string. They got to grab the six rings. They got to go back. They're not allowed to go up and breathe. Now, when TJ first said this, Pam, I was like, oh, my God, they're going to have to hold their breath the whole time. This is going to be awesome. They got an air tank. So. 
Which, I mean, they probably spent 15 minutes underwater. They had to have an air tank, you know. You think it was that long? I don't think it was that yeah. long. I think it was maybe not even five. There's no way, Pam, it was that long. We need to listen tomorrow or whatever to the Tori and Anissa show and hear how long it really was. Yeah. Um, I, I feel just, like it was a good amount of time. I just wonder how long they were allowed to practice with the air tank because I uh, feel like they should have been allowed to at least before they go in there, they must've been able to practice because how can you just get thrown into water without knowing how to breathe, at least letting them try first? Because a lot of them really yeah. seem to struggle with it. And I was confused. I'm like, five minutes with that thing, just practicing, you should be good to go. Um, yeah. So I don't know. Um, yeah. But if you're not a super comfortable under the water person to begin with adding a breathing thing, you know, I can see, I mean, again, I, I not that I, I didn't grow up on a lake, but I, lo I love water and all water sports right. as well. So I can't, I'm, I'm like, what's the tr trouble with this? But right. if you're That's someone that I... doesn't and is uncomfortable with it, then going very deep, you know, to like, you must be pressurized at some point, you know, they had to have, yeah, I think just the pressure of how deep they went. It must be pushing on your ears pretty good. And then you're also trying to breathe. Into yeah, if you're scared or you just look, get discombobulated, I don't know. Because then I was like, oh, and there's a thing to pull. Like, this is easy, but we're water people. It, it was funny so, because I was thinking like, because they did like pre-interviews with every one of them on like what they thought about, like what they were going to be able to do in this challenge. And I was like, man, my pre-interview would be like, I think I got this actually. You know, I, I grew up yeah. on a lake. I think I got this. You know, yeah. I, oh, that's what I would have said. Because everyone yeah. else was like, because Fessy was like, oh, I, I'm from Florida, so I know water. And I was like, man, that's funny. I would have said I grew up on a lake, so I think I got this, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of Fessy, he's become my new Josh. I, now I hate Fessy. I went from liking him and rooting for him to really disliking him. Um, especially, must be, especially after what Nani said about him tonight, where she's like, he needs to have his ego fed and all this crap. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Get over yourself, dude. Just his attitude towards Anissa. Again, I know I'm, I'm team Anissa, but like, put some respect on her. She, you don't know what you're doing. You, and again, someone put in the comments, and thank you for putting that. Fessy came in fourth or something. Did we already cover this? He was yeah. behind. It was Bananas, Corey. Yeah. Like, Fessy, you didn't, it, 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 like, you're not that good. So shut up. Yeah. Like we, like, like we said, we've only seen him run the one final and he, and he came in fourth. So, you know, thank you in the comments below for telling us, you know, get, mm -hmm. getting us more information about that. Because you know what? We watch so many of these seasons. Sometimes they overlap. Sometimes they yeah. get a little foggy. It's hard. You know, you, gotta, you fresh yourself, your, yourself as much as you can. But I mean, it's I have two hard. pages of notes here. That I, am I going to remember these tomorrow? I mean, who the hell knows? There's too much information. No, there's a lot. So, um, but yeah, I want to break it down every single team for this, okay. if that's cool. Because I had comments, I had comments on each team. So the first thing I wanted to say was uh, uh, Leroy got to pick, Leroy and Casey got to pick the order, correct? Yes. Is that, yeah. Um, there wasn't really an advantage to going last in this one for me because no one got to see how you did or even how the challenge worked does that make sense yes i mean no advantage. It, it's always sucky to go first though like at least you can no. see no you okay. couldn't see anything though no no but you can see oh everybody's getting dq'd by popping up make sure and stay down and we don't, but we don't no. know that though that's that's where i was confused Pam. They, they never showed shots of them going back to the other cast members Maybe they were all locked away separately where they didn't get to see oh. it everywhere until the end. That's my thought because they didn't show anybody going back after like, oh man, dude, it was so hard to hold my breath with that mechanism. And it, that, that, the, the line was really a lot longer than I thought. We didn't see any of that. So I don't, we don't know. Right. Okay. We'll have to get an insider take on that because I would assume there had to be people were watching because otherwise. But how could they watch them in that? There was no one like looking over and seeing them because they were between two tectonic plates. <laughs> I erase those things I just do with my hands because they were legit. They really were plates. tectonic plates. But um, <laughs> yeah, and the fact that it was the clearest water in the world, that that's alone amazing. makes it a fantastic challenge. Oh, yeah. To be part of. Like that's so I, cool. I get, yeah. Like the, the lake that I grew up in, Pam, looked like yellow underneath when, and green when uh -huh. I looked at the water. It opened my eyes. So, no, that uh, is some Caribbean stuff. I would like to that's be some there. Good, that's yeah, some good that's stuff for sure. good water. So, the first so they have to go down, they get the six coated rings, they go back, they solve the puzzle. Pretty cool. Um, Anissa and Kyle have to go first. Um, I thought that they did great, but the way the producers edited it, they made it seem like they took a really long They got it done, but it made it look like it seemed they took a long time to get it done. Versus yeah. when they the other two teams that, that finished it, they made it seem right. a lot quicker. So in that regard, the producers, if the times were legit, crossing my fingers that they were, then the producers did a great job editing it to fool right. us. 
that's that just making totally cool. a story. But the fact right. that CT did that too, not CT, um, CJ, TJ. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. I've been, it's been a long day. Yeah. The fact that TJ faked us out too makes me think they were in cahoots or maybe after he did that, they stretched it out. Yeah, well, I think the producers told TJ, hey man, congratulate these two teams for doing great. And then at the, after that, tell them that there's actually one team that's right, doing better. Right. It was great. They, they did fool me. Usually I'm like TJ's line right now. He's about to tell a lie, but this one got me real no, good. No, this was, this was a, um, this was a convincing one. Cause usually they'll say two teams really showed up today, but the one who got it done was, right. you know, he does that a lot. He doesn't go, but the winner is a team I didn't say. I mean, the it's, producer, like a new look, it's been, it's been 36 seasons, man. The producer got to do something to trick us a little bit, because yeah. if you're an OG challenge fan, you've seen it all already. So uh -huh. They did it. They did a good job tonight with, a, the, in fact, Pam, the whole storyline tonight, I thought they did a really good job. Oh, me too. Wrapping it up at the end. And they did, a, I thought it was a really, really well done today. What they lacked last week, they yeah. made up for this week. What I will say, it's like last week they were asleep at the wheel, whoever like cut this together. And then this week they were like, did their, their uh, nose candy or something. And they were awake at the wheel. <laughs> yeah, they it, were it ready was well to done. Um, So the, uh, the second team to go is Big T and Corey. Um, and like a lot of the, some of these DQs, I got mad at them for, but for this one, I didn't get so mad because like Corey said he was scarred for life from, from someone, his buddy pretending to drown, drown him. him and but then, I mean, look, I, I was never afraid of the water. I never had an issue like that, but like my brother got jumped on by like a puppy when he was a little kid. And for the longest time, he was afraid of dogs. Not anymore. He has a dog now, but for, as a kid, my brother was scared of dogs for years and years because that one incident. So the yes. Corey one disappointing. Cause I think he's a great, I think he's a good competitor, but, um, I wasn't like mad about him being DQ'd for it. I get no, oh, whatever. It was a little, a little you didn't like you, you, you like whatever. get over. You like get over it, Corey. Yeah, <laughs> or, exactly. Like the I, I know a five year old, and she um, is scared of dogs. Same thing. She got it, when she was like two. Like her, the five year old's mother is like, I don't. Now she likes my dog because he's little. And sure. she's gotten used to him, but she's scared of like fluffy white puppies that are running around like the Bichon Frise, you know, yeah. she's like, no, it's going to bite me. Cause one nipped her. Apparently it wasn't even that and bad of a you're, bite. You're like, just get over it right now. But, and she's a fearless child too. That's why I'm like, really? You're going to be scared from something that happened. I guess it really does traumatize you. So you think that you think at the ripe old age of 30, Corey should be over this fear of water and just dive in. At I point. do. But if it's very yeah. deep seated and he just can't get past it, I, I don't know. I don't, whatever. I well, no, I see both sides of the argument, but I, I gave him a, like, a, you know, and plus the way he performed in the, la in the elimination, it was like, you know. No, it's annoying. He should have tried harder since he needed it. You know what I mean? Like, I would have liked, but but what can you do? He That's, you know, Pam, I'll give you that. Face your fears. You need this gold skull. You need to win yeah. this elimination to get, to put yourself down there. That's true, too. Right. I'll give you that. Yeah. This um, is no joke time. And like, you know, he's lucky. Anita and um, yeah. Kyle won, who are his friends, because otherwise... People might not have guaranteed him, you know. Yeah. Um, Darrell and Amber B go next. The only thing I had about this was TJ was like, all right, Darrell and Amber B, you're next. I'm like, well, Amber M's gone now, uh, TJ. Just call her Amber. It's just what Amber she's Stein. called. It's just what she's called. Amber B now, it's like a whole thing. I wonder if she comes back another season, which I think that she might be invited back because just because she's been here so long now and she is doing, she, she's, she's adding something to the game. Um, I wonder if they'll call her Amber next season because I doubt Amber M's coming back. So yeah. I'm like, they just call her Amber next season and not Amber B, but maybe they'll keep riding with it. I don't know. Yep. Um, that one, they got DQ'd as well. What the hell happened for that one? Did, uh, oh, yeah. She, 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 yeah. She, Darrell did great. Darrell made it to the end and she thought she was drowning or something and floated to the top. So she actually didn't perform well in this one at all. Okay. Uh, yeah. Which is crap for them that they, you know, for. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fessy and Nani go next. Fessy apparently got kicked in the face by. I'm sorry, Nani apparently Nani got kicked, got kicked in the face Fessy. by Fessy. This is another one where I was like, okay, well, if I got kicked in the face and I had a thing in my mouth and I was disoriented going down, I was trying to breathe into it, but water yeah. was in there too. That was like, all right, okay, that sucks. Cause and it's like, I screw you. At that point, it's like, you kicked me in the face. You're not even waiting for, like, he's a bad partner. I don't think he's a good partner to anyone. It's, I think he's egotistical, thinks he's really inflated a sense of how great he is yeah, god's gift and that thing. as we're seeing with these people someone might be a good competitor but we can clearly see that it's all about the, the team the team the flow the trust the vibe yeah. of working together if yeah. and if it's not 
working, it's just, it's, it's, you're, it, there's no desire to win with that person. Yeah. Even if you want to win, it just becomes like, you know. Well, did Fessy complete it though? I think he did. I think it was Nani that just couldn't do, like, she came She came up shortly after that. Um, Um, yeah. uh, CT and Cam, they had like a little puzzle fight. Uh, I still think they did well though. I'm not sure if that puzzle fight was as long as, I mean, no, it was like maybe 30 seconds of like, sure. just do your thing. you do it, you do it then. You know, sure, whatever. they made more of it because they seemed perfectly pleased with each other when they were finished. It wasn't yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then Casey and Leroy again, um, they did great. It was, they started playing the song, um, uh, hold your head up, moving on, keep your head up, uh-huh. up which I love when they, they played that kind of as a, as a nice really? filler song. Yeah. A song break, as I like to call them. Mm-hmm. So I was, I was mm-hmm. pleased with that song choice. Me too. And um, like I said, even though it looked like Anissa and Kyle took longer, they won. So yeah. that's why my whole conspiracy that I don't want to believe and I mm-hmm. refuse to believe comes in because I'm just very convenient that they got to win that, knowing that they had made it very obvious at the beginning of the episode that everyone was going to vote them in guaranteed on oh, yeah. they won. So. Everybody counted them out. And I liked the cute, this is another not important part, but I liked their bonding and I liked her saying at least being on a team with Kyle is like stepping up the funny, you know? True. Um, yeah, that's nice. The, I also have to say, this might be an unpopular opinion, that Fessy and Anissa were a really good team together because she kind of let him be obnoxious without taking it like she's more mature i think or something it's like okay without taking it personally they won and like the first he, two challenges back to yeah, back yeah they won the first that. two challenges they won, she like, they needed won. this i mean this is like the sweetest of revenges for anisa i feel like this really is the best thing that could have happened if for her game at all because yes well, you know what's crazy too is for as much crap as everyone's giving anisa for not being in shape and they're concerned about the final if there was no final this season for some reason, she's had a fantastic regular. Right, season. she's doing you know great. Well, like, and she does great. Is, is like she's a basketball player that gets the yips during the playoffs. Like if she's she's not going to perform well in the final, it's just not going to happen. That, I don't know. Happen. I just but, think the her the problem is she can't f- run for a really long time. Yeah. So other than that, but again, this has to take a bit of endurance to be under that water for. Well, we don't know how long. And swimming. I honestly, I honestly, Pam, like the way I watched it, it looked like it was maybe a minute this way, get their stuff, and like a minute back. It's not that long underwater. We need to find out. We need I to know, find we out. I know, we should, but I don't know. Inside. Tell us in the comments below how long you think that water race under. Yeah. Um, so um, they win, uh, Anissa and Kyle. Great job for them. Very impressed. Lisa cries a little bit. I loved it. Like she's just, I think she's, she really wants to yeah. do well. It's, and it's I fun. want to see her do well. I really do. I, I think it's her time. I would love if Anissa won the final. I really would. I just, I, would I mean, I don't think she's going to win. Let's not go crazy. I don't think she's going to win the final. Okay, well, but I I'll, at least want her to be in the final. Well, she will she's be. She's earned it this season. Pam, 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 she'll be in the final. I don't, I can't, because, well, Big T is the only, wait. Yeah, Big T is the only one that doesn't have her skull. I, I just don't know what twists TJ is going to come up with because he said you're not in the final. And he said you're far from it too somehow. I'm like, right. uh, really that far from it though? We're going into episode 15 next week. How many episodes are you doing? 20 maybe max? And that includes the 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 um, the post show? What the, what the, I mean, the reunion. Far, reunion. The reunion. I think <laughs> far from it is a, is a bit of a TJ exaggeration. I mean, sure. there can't be more than one or two episodes before the final. Yeah, but I um, just, Unless it's something endurance-wise in an elimination against Big T, Anise is going to wipe the floor with her. Well, we never know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. It could be like we saw today. So when one action causes another, it becomes a domino effect that you really can't predict. Well, uh, okay. So it's, let's say Anissa makes the final Pam, and there's okay. five girls. What place does she come in on those five girls? First, second, third, fourth, or fifth? think fourth i feel like no she can beat someone on and i think oh, this is this is bad to say but i think if she gets fourth it'll be because because someone gave up and didn't finish or something and that's why I, she got- I would say if she makes the final it's five teams she's gonna be fourth okay well there you go um all right so the next thing i want to talk about was big t big okay. t talks with Corey after this and she's like oh i don't i don't want to be the house vote i want to get voted in later i was like uh 
Why? Want, that's awful. That's an awful opinion. Right. Don't delay it, Big T. You need to go in. Like, but like the op, like, wouldn't you want to have the option of who you get to go against versus having the house vote against yes. someone in, then you're forced in against them? If yes, yes. So I didn't know even, where was she coming. Eventually, I she don't does. Know. Eventually, she does change her opinion and goes along with what Corey wants, which is to try to be the house host, which they don't get. But at least she goes along with it because I was like. Big T, this is not what you want to do. You want to be able to choose your opponent and at least have some, like, throw it out there who you want once you get the house vote. Well, the thing is, though, I think it really did wind up working out in her favor because I don't think she wanted to be responsible for putting Amber B in. Okay, fair But enough. I think that she was fine with that being that that was the, like, that that was who she would be fine going against. And I also think that... It, it all worked out like I can't now keep it all straight in my no, head. But I, I agree. It is it, it, that's an excellent opinion, uh, an excellent uh, take you just said there, though. It yeah, that's true. the only reason you have to be the bad person against uh, Amber Amber B because that's right. Her, and that so is, knowing that right. Kyle, I mean, actually trust him, which I wouldn't trust him when Corey was saying, yeah, but it's like, yeah, do not trust Kyle. Yeah. Um. But then it 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 yeah. So that's the only yeah. That's the only reason I could see her not wanting to be the house vote. But again, still yeah. I would want to be the house vote and say okay, we want you guys to pick. It's still no blood on our hands. Yeah. Uh, during the club scene, I thought Darrell had a nice okay. move here. Oh, yes. Let's discuss this. Yeah, that's... Uh, he's like, <laughs> hey, yo, Leroy, you can throw me in, man, but when I come back, uh, I'm taking I'm taking Casey. Like, yeah, yeah you I'm can play at this game. Good good no. luck with whoever's left over. Love the... I don't know if he's bluffing or if he's, he, say, he sounded like he was telling the truth. But it's a great way to try to keep himself from getting voted in the house vote. That's that's for damn sure. It is. A, it was a great strategy. It was also ballsy in a good way. Like, hey, two can play at this. Don't come here and tell me that, you know, to save yourself, you're going to throw me in. I'll, I'll do you wrong, too. Yeah, it was it was a smart move. It was good. Uh, um, Darrell is a great player. I mean, like he doesn't back down. He's smart and he's he's got a lot of the things um, yeah. that you need to be a winner. And yeah, it was, it was great to see him, you know, it, I don't know if he was bluffing either. Right, right, right. Um, they show a shot of CT and Nani both missing their old partners and they're talking about I it. liked that. It was nice that, because, you know, most people are happy to move on to new partners, new stronger partners, whatever you think they're going to be. But it's nice to see that people are like, dang, I had something good there. It's that whole grass right. is syndrome or whatever, you know? So I want it to go on record that I was saying, I think CT will really regret this. Like he's not going to, they didn't have a good vibe. He wanted, he missed big T. You could tell the whole time. He like, some people need to be the domineering one. It's just, it's not a flaw. I'm not, no, no shade. I'm just saying yeah, some right. people are need to be the, the brains of the operation and have someone that will assist. And some people are work better than others as a teammate and CT works better when someone says, okay, CT, like that's the ideal partner for him that will give it their all and is good. Again, I feel like I, I don't understand why everyone's making it like CT's like the weakest link in the world. I don't think she is. Um, and yeah, I think he really missed her and I'm really, really glad about the way things panned out. And I think she missed him too. That was a great team. And I thought Kyle and Nani were a great team together. Yeah. So I don't, I don't, I do understand. Yeah. I don't know why Nani thought Fessy would be better for her. Kyle's a perfectly good partner for her. Yeah. I mean, and yeah, she, she kind of like right away was like, I can't believe I chose this dude. What was I? Right. He's big. He's big. But we were saying that, isn't that, it's so funny because we were talking about that last episode. Yes. Last episode. He's just big. Like we said. He's, right, he's just big. That's really it. It's like right? Popeye and he's large. Did you? With... Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways. Uh, okay. So deliberation comes. Corey wants the house vote. Pretty obvious that he's going to say that. And then Amber B and Darrell end up getting it. But uh, Okay. I, what I loved during when they found out, when Kyle and Anissa found out, Kyle was like, dude, let's throw CT in. How good would that final, how good would that elimination be? Yeah. And I was like, I kind of, I, I'm, a, I'm pretty disappointed that they didn't vote in someone that already had a skull. Does that make no, sense? No, but I mean, no, I feel like they. They had to. I, and you know what? If I was friends with Corey, the way that Anissa's friends with Corey, I would have done the same thing. My point is though, as a viewer. Absolutely. As a viewer, I just thought it would have been a lot more interesting if they threw in two people that already had a skull 
but that's just That'd what be I great. Want. Yeah, I agree that it would have been cool. Well, I wanted Fessy to go in. At that point, I started sure. being like, throw in Fessy then. He will lose. He would have lost. I didn't care who it was. I didn't care who went in. I just wanted someone with a skull. I didn't care if it was Leroy or Fessy. I didn't care who they- I, I wanted it to be Fessy. It. I really wanted it to be Fessy and I wanted it to be, okay, this is going to start sounding mean because I do love Nani, but I still stand by that Big T is good and Nani cracks in an elimination. I think if she had to go back to back, Big T would have would have beaten her and Fessy would have gone home and I would have kind of enjoyed that. Yeah, well, and I'd yeah. like to see Fessy shot down at this point. That's my, I just think he's so overconfident. Yeah. Well, I mean, Nani would have still been in the game if Fessy went home anyway. So who cares, right? Well, if it was a double, if they had the girls, if Big T so got to that's compete. what we had. So what we had discussed last week, Pam, if you remember, right. I said, I said, I think Corey and Big T now are going to go down there against somebody, but I thought it was going to be a right. double elimination. So all the producers are doing is just extending the season by not making it a double elimination. Yeah. They could have tonight made it a double elimination. The two people that stay, there's your finals. Hey, next week, guess guess what? We're in a final. Like, go pack your bags. We're going. Yeah. To, we're going Argentina. Where the hell they want to go? For well, this maybe final. next ooh, prediction. Maybe next week we'll start with a female elimination from something. Oh, well, they'll do won't. a little. Oh, you think it's just gonna the daily challenge would be a female elimination? No, cause no. I mean, they'll have to do it, and then right after that, it might be like, great, you guys are in the final. I don't know. I don't know why they're saying none of you are in it. Far from it. Like, I don't know what. Well, that what means. I think it's gonna be is I think that they're gonna do one final girls elimination next week, but then there's gonna be a twist at the end of the episode. I don't even know what that twist could be. Please tell us in the comments below if you think you know. Don't, if you already know, don't tell I, us. Yeah, don't spoil, Jeez, but tell us. Spoilers, you man. But I give us your guesses. I think that CT is going to find some way, because he knows he's not going in. So, or that's what he thinks. Who knows? It'll be a double elimination. Watch it. But he's going to try to find a way for Big T to have an opportunity. I think Big T will lose to whoever she goes against. And then either TJ will announce, hey, you're all in the final. Or he'll say one more huge twist and freak everybody out. And then it'll end episode. But that's what that I'm is saying. an interesting guess. I don't think that that's what's going to happen. My my guess is that, or my hope, I don't know, is that Big T will go against someone and take their big and win. You think that? I want that to happen. I don't know what's really going to happen. You think Big T will win? Oh, you think Big T will win? I think Big T could win against someone for sure. I'm not saying she can't win. I just don't think that she will. That's all. I really hope she does. I'd really like to see that. That was like the other part of the redemption I wanted tonight that I'm a little bummed we didn't get, but I still was grateful to who, see them. Who, who, together. Who's she going to be? Give me the name of the girl. It depends what the thing is. It, it, I don't know. You, well, I'm just saying if she could, it, but like if she was against any girl, who would you give her the best opportunity to win against? Nani, I think. I think Nani's a good choice. Unless it was a fight. Nani's so hit her. Yeah, she's so hit or miss. I, 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 I would throw, I'll throw Nani in there. Yeah, I, I don't. That's a, I think that's the person to pick. You pick the right yeah, one. Yeah, I mean, be especially, fun. like, Big T's better at running. Like, Big T is good at running and endurance. Yeah. And yeah. I, I don't know. I really, I don't know. It depends Yeah. what it would be. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's good. It's, again, so many things happen. Like, so, okay, so who they wind up picking. So it becomes Darrell and Amber B., and Corey and Big T. So it's Corey and Darrell. And right, this was who were you rooting for? Um, who literally did not care who won. Um, it's more of who do I think would win? Who did you think would win? Well, I looked up the ages, I thought of the ages right away. And I said, How old are these two people? Right? Mm -hmm. Give me your guess. I kind of said earlier in the episode. I sort of know how old okay, they are. Like how 30 old is, 40? I earlier how old Corey is. How old is Corey? 30, he's 30. And, and at the time they filmed this, he was 29. And then how old is uh, Darrell? Like 40? He's 41. So you're looking okay. at a 10 plus year age gap. Now, I'm not saying that's a big deal if you're 20 and someone's 30, but someone's 30 and someone's 40. I still feel pretty damn good at 35. I don't know how I'll feel in five years. Right, I was going to say, I don't know that you got to, yeah, oh, okay, 35. Right, I was going to say, I don't know that I would count someone out. And they're right, you're saying he's up, but he's in great shape. It just, yeah, Darrell, but, obviously. And, but then, then, then they were saying that, that Darrell's just not really that fast. I didn't, right. I didn't really know that fact about him. I didn't think he was like super fast, but I didn't think he was slow. The way well, Leroy made it sound was that he was like running like he had honey 
taped all yeah. over. Yeah. And he's, they also all said Corey's really fast. So like if you have a slow runner and a fast runner, then it's, yeah, with the age. I mean, I didn't know so that. Either. I went age. I thought if, if Darrell could get it to be a, where they both, the bungee stopped them before the buzzer. Right. I thought Darrell might be able to wear Corey out endurance wise. Cause we've seen Corey in endurance things. He has bad knees. If you remember from years past. He always has, Corey always has issues with his knees giving out yeah. of him in finals. So I yeah. thought he had to do an endurance elimination here where he had to get stuck in the sand for a while in the dirt. I thought that Darrell might be able to wear him down that way, but he never even got the chance. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that, that about Darrell either, that he was not a fast runner. And so, in terms I'm sorry. Of, so Pam, who are you rooting, rooting for versus who did you think would win? I had no idea who would win at the start yeah. because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, after, I didn't know Corey was fast and I didn't know Darrell was slow. So I didn't know. And then I love Darrell, but we've been with Corey for the past several seasons. I haven't, I'm not as close to Darrell. Right. Plus, so you I, a, plus you have a huge crush on Corey now. So I, every, now, everybody now. Does. everybody does. Everybody does. And how can you not? Corey's so adorable. So um, I, I, I found myself inadvertently rooting for, you know, sometimes you're just like, go, go, like wanting Corey to win. Yeah, so it's, it's not like I don't want Darrell to win. I thought right. it's Well, that's how I was though. So like some weeks I'm like, like last week, who's I rooted for uh, Gabby. For some reason, I just really wanted Gabby to win. That's how I right. felt during the episode. I don't know why. I just really wanted Gabby to win. And this week I was like, literally don't care. Whoever comes back, I'm fine with. So it was, it was I would have been fine with either one, but I was like, go Corey when he, cause I, I guess maybe I didn't think he would win against Darrell. I thought there you go. Yeah, Corey, you could, for some reason just wanted wait to all this time. Yeah. yeah. have been there all this time, gone through all these partners, finally get to go in and lose. Like, I just, I was like, yeah, Corey. I mean, he's the underdog in this story. So I was happy to see him mm -hmm. win. Yeah. But uh, I still think Darrell's a big, I agree with what Kyle said. Kyle summed it up really great. He's like, everyone in this house should be glad to see Darrell yeah. is an excellent competitor. Like he, and I agree, he's smart, he's fit, he's strong, he's, yeah. he's everything. So knocking in him a, out is- In a final, he just meets all the criteria for a final. Yes. You don't need to, you don't need to run freaking wind sprints in a final. You just it's need to run for a It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Right, yeah. Right, it's not so, a sprint. But tonight was a sprint and that's why yep. he had issues in it. Yep. Uh, Darrell says the challenges are harder than they used to be. And I'm, I would be like, okay, that, that, I think he means it almost in a, in a, all, in a, in a, in a fit way where you have to be really fit, but also social way and all these other ways too. I think that it just in general, I think that, uh, challenges are, are tougher and that's what he said. So I'll go with yeah. it. He lives it. He lives it. Yep. I just watch it. So. Yeah. Uh, it was a bummer to see him go though. He, you know, but we get to see him on the, the OGs. We do get, and that's something we'll bring up in news. We'll talk, we're going to talk about that news and gossip. Uh, okay. That's funny. You brought it up now. Uh, and Corey, oh, I want, this is the last thing I want to bring up before we get into news and gossip. Um, well, a couple things. Corey steals Cam. Do you like that choice? Do Absolutely. Like I hated her and CT together. They're two people I love, CT and Cam, and watching them together, like, made me dislike both of them almost. There was, they had uh, uh, not just bad chem they had not just not chemistry but bad chemistry there it was a bad match it was two alphas it, it was it didn't yeah. they didn't work together um well they didn't and Corey will definitely not try to be alpha over cam in yeah situation at all obviously so yeah and they complement each other like they're both good physically yeah she's good mentally you know she's smart um so yeah, I think that's a good team. And I, 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 I love, I mean, I, more than anything, well, first of all, I didn't expect it. So I was like, whoa, twists and turns tonight. Yeah. I, did you expect that? I didn't think Corey was going to stay with Big T, but I thought, I thought maybe he'd go with Amber B. I thought, yeah, he, I, thought I, maybe. Anybody, I didn't, I didn't really see him picking I, I didn't see him not picking cam but i didn't say oh he's definitely going cam. i didn't see him picking cam at all and i i loved it i loved that he picked cam and i loved that ct was C they were both secretly so relieved i think cam and ct were both like yes thank god i think cam is a great choice just because that she has the leroy alliance and the numbers are going to be there for you where if he goes uh -huh. to number b he already knows that cam and leroy it's a four-person team including himself right so I think it's a smart move. I think that, I mean, 
me saying Corey and smart in the same sentence is a you know, go, go, you go, Corey, for we're finally saying yeah. that. But if he did think of it, I agree. Way, if he did do, but I don't know if that's the reason he did it or just as Cam's a smart competitor. No, for sure. But the other reason would be was because her alliance is so good. Mm-hmm. How can you not want to be a part of that? Because she guar- she's going to have the numbers and Corey can guarantee himself in the final now. Yep. So, um, um, yeah. I, yeah, no, I loved the way it all, I like loved the way it all panned out. Couldn't have made me happier because I, I really didn't, like seeing cam and cts it just was a bad it was off it was wrong they didn't it didn't work they she couldn't get past his not picking her to begin with and he couldn't get over big t because they were doing so great together well and how convenient that you bring that up pam and how convenient for ct that big t is now available for the taking and he picks her and you know i wonder if he picked amber b and big t was the rogue agent that would mean that Big T cannot compete next week and therefore not compete in a final elimination either. So if Big T doesn't pick her, is she just off the show at this point? Like, thank God he picked her. Does that make sense? Oh. She would have not been able to compete in the challenge. Next oh. Oh. The elimination. He had. Oh. He so that's why he's saying, I want to help. Just like she helped me get hers. I want to help her get her. Oh, okay. But, if but he, that he, also he, means Amber B is safe. That's my point. I ju- and that's my other thing I was just going to tell you is Amber B is guaranteed a final now if next week is the last one. But according to TJ, none of them are in his final yet. So. But that's, there's one more episode. By the end of next episode, he could then be like, oh, you made it. No, there might be some like two, like purge and there's only going to be two. I mean, I don't know. I, I think hope so. Be, Pam. Yeah, there might be some defend your skull competition with everybody and the team that's last is out. I mean, honestly, that would be cool. So this is what I want. And Pam, this happens is great. So we get our final, say at the end of next week, Big T goes against someone, win or lose, whatever happens. Then we have our final five teams. And what if he says, oh, hey, guys, before we go into elimination, we're going to do a purge or a final. We're going to do a purge. The last team to finish this purge, you're out of here. And then we'll have just four teams in the final. That would be badass. That would be wonderful. And I am still, I'm going to tell you, I still think there's a chance that the eliminations are not going to be the T, that, that all these people and I want to run the final with this person and this, that. I don't know. I don't, I I think it would be unlikely that you get to literally keep your, I think there's going to be a twist. Right. And we've talked about this, Pam. I think that they're going to have options to change partners in a final. They're going to have, they're going to have times that they're going to work by themselves for a little bit, mm-hmm. maybe depending on certain timing times. Right. They're and then you can swap partners. out if you win, they might say, do you, yeah, we'll, we'll see it. But I, I like the surprise. I don't think that, I wonder if the person you're stuck with at the end you have to have a combined time. So only, so say CT's with Big T and they make it to a final. Only CT and Big T can win or can CT win and then like uh, Nani win? Like they if don't they do it team, partners. they're going to have to win as a team. You think that's how it's going to be? I think, it's, yeah. I think it might just be whoever is, has the fastest time guy and girl. Doesn't matter what teammate you were with. They might no, take but that, that's not fair. If you're a team, you're a team. I mean, like, if you're a team, you have to be a team. You think so? Okay. Yeah. Well, then, then I fine. think so. I think that uh, doesn't I'm fine sense. with it either way. Um, yeah. 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 So that's all I had for the episode. I don't know what you had. If, um, any, any final thoughts on the episode? Yeah, I just, I just, I loved it all. I also, no offense on Amber B, don't give a shit about Amber B. So, um, what do you, uh, what do you mean? Um, I just don't care what happened to her. So I'm glad that Big T and CT got together and she'll be rogue and whatever happens. Oh, you don't care if she's rogue. I see what you mean. Yeah, I don't dislike her, but I I really think it was great to see Big T and CT. That was was the true love story of this season. (laughs) Well, Mm -hmm. now now that they've rekindled that love, um, Mm -hmm. it's nice. And it's so funny because in the episode, she's like, I'm so much happier with Corey now, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, Big T. You're just mad at him. You still like, right. she still was, want, I don't think you'd hate being with CT again. And then sure enough, it happens at the end. Right. And that's what I mean by the completed storyline. It worked out so perfectly for the producers. Well, like, he hurt her. And then he I know. I, And that's why it was more of a, she, I, we could tell she was, right. she was holding a grudge. Like As she said, yeah, my no, grudge no, no, might just, stuff. yeah. Um, so two news and gossip, uh, news and gossip. Here we go. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Um, well, the first thing you you had mentioned is um, the Challenge All-Stars is going to premiere on April 1st on Paramount+. Plus. They said it's going to be streaming on, on, on April 1st. Does that mean that they're just going to release all the episodes, or are they going to do it, like, once a week? 
I don't know because I was very um, upset to find, <laughs> I was very upset to find out that the real world reunion is not all. I was so looking forward to just being did you, so did you order? Did you already pay for Paramount Plus? I, it comes with my Amazon Prime cool. for some reason. Do cool. you all get right. it? Like they were I don't like have Amazon Prime, but my whole thing is I went on YouTube last week and I randomly ran a, it said, like, I, I just watch challenge stuff all the time on YouTube. And, or one, and one of the things was watch the first episode of the real world reunion on Paramount Plus. And it had the whole episode on YouTube and it got taken down, right? Like a couple of oh. days later, but it was, it was, I think MTV actually, or uh, Paramount Plus actually put it up though, because they were trying to get people to watch, to get them over to Paramount. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a smart move. But, but they, I watched the, I watched the whole thing, Pam. It's pretty damn good. I, I, I only had two. No, I love it. It's great. It's. It was really. I was into it because that's. I'm the hoping point. to find the second one on YouTube tonight after we we get off the air here. I don't know if they'll have it, but then I might just have to order Paramount Plus because I didn't I think I was. My login info. I can't believe you said it over the internet. I mean, now I'm just kidding. No, take that off. Delete it. I, I yeah, would I, never. I would yeah. never. Obviously, we, would, we wouldn't do that. See, so now you know we're not lying. So, never. but it's it's so crazy because I didn't think I would enjoy it. But it's actually really, it's because I, I I didn't watch the first season of The Real Oh, World. it's so interesting. It's it, too it, long. How old was I when that came out? I was, I'm 35 now. It came out, what, 20 you years ago? I was high. I'm like two years older than I think I was too, a little too young. I think I was. I was like, oh my God, like probably 14 or something and yeah. thought it was the coolest thing in the entire world. Also, I live right next to New York. Yeah, I just thought it was amazing. And now- Right, you know, no, I got you. And like, it didn't uh, take long to get into the real world. I watched almost all of every season, but I never watched the full season of that. But once I got into the characters, when they did the reunion, I was into, I was in it right away. Because I knew something- One time, so I must've been in like, whatever. I remember Debbie Gross, um, no relation, my camp friend, we binged it over the summer. Like they had a marathon on MTV and we watched the whole thing. And- <laughs> my camp uh, friend. Yeah, I can't yeah, No, I, yeah. Yeah, she came over and we were like, discovered we were sitting in my basement. Like it made me really miss her. Um, it just brought so much nostalgia to me because- in when I was abroad in college, I had a friend that did the grind workout that like like had like the role Eric, of was Eric Nees what, what, Eric, Eric Nees had the grind workout and she like knew all the moves. So the what they're what the, the great thing they're doing with that reunion show, Pam, is they're showing old a lot of old shots of them, a lot of hey, what did you do after you got off? What ha what 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 kind of fame did you Oh have yeah. Done? And I love that background shit. I'm so into it. So this show is I, I they did a Paramount Plus so far. And the edit, the producers, or whoever, you know, it's on Paramount Plus, but the producers uh -huh. for the, the, the reunion are doing such a good job with the editing of this right now. It's yeah, no, I'm loving it. It's making me, it's giving me the feels as the kids. What, um, what, epi what day a week do they release the new episodes for the, the reunion? I don't know. That's what I'll check tonight. Because they I'll are watch. doing it that way, though. So if they do the, my point is, though, is that if they do the all star shows the same way, they're only going to release one a week. Yes. Well, that's what my disappointment was. I really wanted to binge the hell out of the reunion. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not unlike I did in 94. Um, but I don't and, know. If we're, are we up for covering? Are we going to, are we up for covering the all-stars? That's the question. Maybe we should do a Patreon and do all-stars on for our Patreoners. <laughs> Things to think about. Hey, hey I'm on a we got a great show we gotta... up here with, uh, with uh, the, the newlywed, uh, the newly engaged Jenna, and we'll try okay, to figure we'll, something we'll, out if yeah. you want to do it. Are it's, we it's, up for covering it? I'm totally up for covering it. I don't have anything it's going in on. Two, it, it's, it's basically two weeks away. Um, so we'll right, see. We'll, we'll I'm talk. not against it. Well, well let's let's speak because I don't know what's how long guys, keep, last. what do you think? Give us the comments. I think most of them are going to ask us to cover it. So, um, and the only okay. other news I, I had, uh, Pam, which I think is funny is Fessy wrote a note to Gabby when he left or when she left. Did you hear about this note? No, please spill it. It's, it's pretty short and it looks like it's, his writing is chicken scratch. It looks like a, like a second grader wrote this note to her. Um, he must have, I don't know when he slipped it to her, but it's after she got eliminated and he wrote, Gabby, I'll see you when I'm done winning the final. I think it's more than an attraction. We should def give it a chance. Bye for now, beautiful. He's such a, and like he, I'm, he didn't put the apostrophe between, like his, his handwriting is, 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 is awful. Uh, but anyway, that's not the point. The point is that he wrote this note to, to Gabby. Okay. What do, we, what do we think of it? Do we, 
I mean, I'm sure the people already know what happened between them after the show. They can tell us in the comments below. But what, uh, yeah, I mean, what happened? Not much, right? She went. I don't think. I don't think country. anything happened personally. Yeah, she lives know. in another country. Like it's not like she's from a different state and they might hang out. Like she, right, right, right. She that's lives a big. Florida. That's a big commitment of a long distance relationship. That was a TV fling. I mean, I just think it's funny. He wrote a little like chicken scratch on lined paper little note for her I just think it's I just think it's I thought the note it's very was, eighth grade um and yeah. it seems it seems it doesn't surprise me at all for whatever reason like I don't yeah. even know what that means but it seems on brand for me that tracks it's like yep Fessy wrote like a hey I think you're more than just pretty let's stay in touch you know like I, I, I don't yeah know. yeah I don't know I don't know I don't know but anyway those those are two news things I have but yeah um oh. But you have something, so that's fine. I do. Jenna and Zach got got married. Yes, they got married. I saw that. Yes, I saw yeah. that as well. I, I could have brought that. And then I remembered. Yeah, that's a. Yep. And they're expecting that uh, that baby uh, baby boy, I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's. I mean, that's all I have that's for this. All I got. Week. I'm sure you. Uh, I mean, I'm excited for next week. I think it's gonna, there's going to be a lot, of, yeah. a lot of stuff on there for sure. So. Now I'm really on the edge of Like now I'm like, what's going to happen? Who's going to, yeah, I'm very excited now. Yeah. It's going to be good. And, and honestly, I'm really excited for the, the, the rest to watch the rest of the reunion for the original real world cast. And I'm really excited to watch the all-stars. Oh, 20, yeah. 22 cast members. They've released all of them now. So you can check it out online. Yes. They're all there for you to check out. I, Tech is there. Tech from real world Hawaii. He's the one that when he first got to the house, he jumped in the pool. And he goes, I'm naked. And he like jumped and him and Ruthie swam naked. Yeah, no, I know who he is. I oh, just okay. didn't even like recognize him in the trailer. Yeah, he's, he's in the, he's in the trailer they show. Ruthie's there, but we knew that. Yeah. Um, you know, I wish they, I, the only, do you, is there anyone you wish they would have gotten? Cause I have a couple, but I don't think they could get these people. Cause money wise, I don't think they could get them at all. There's no way, but I wanted two more people. Um, Give me 24. I got my 24 uh i love katie and derek so i'm excited about they're all that there. yeah they're all there yeah i I've, I've watched they had during this episode tonight a big trailer for it i have three that i wanted i wanted coral yeah i wanted the miz who you'll never get no and i and i wanted brad i think brad's OG. brad I yes him. i think brad i saw something and i don't know Oh no, it was just a V. I don't know. I'm sure Brad, they offered it to Brad. Brad must have just been busy with life or something. Know, but Brad, he's got kids. I mean, Brad was yeah. on the real world San Diego when I was a freshman in college. I mean, that if that's not OG, I was in college yeah. a long time ago. 2003, right. I started there. So, like, man, he's OG. How is he not OG? Like, put him on. I'm sure maybe. Oh, yeah. No, I bet he was, honestly, I bet he was offered it. You know, uh, and also a lot of these people, I wonder too, they'll tell us in the comments. I bet some people might have had COVID or something. They couldn't be on the show. I bet it's something like that too. Like maybe Brad went there. They had a lot of extra people that maybe didn't make the cut or just couldn't be on it because they, they tested positive. I mean, look what's happening to Eric Niles on uh, Eric Niles. Yes, niece. <laughs> that's what i was gonna say do you think he'll ever come in person i don't the way they show so. the previews for the rest of the season it looks like they go visit him at his hotel and they, they talk to him from the balcony but i'm hoping on like the last day maybe he's allowed to be out of quarantine they get to see him right before they leave but i think it's it is good for, they said they're only there for a week so who knows? oh Remember it is like great the, the editing though he does really feel like a part of the show it's not just like <laughs> They can't. They must have planned that ahead of time because that's a great idea to have them just on a live feed. Yeah, <laughs> but with the flashbacks, you do get to discuss. All, I mean, I do. I love that way it's edited too. I, I really am really really enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. No, it's good. Yeah, the flashbacks. The fl I love them showing him on the grind and all the other stuff he was oh doing. God, how yes. He's like he a model and how he's arrogant back in the day and all. I love that stuff. They, they and do I love really how stuff. he is now. I love all of them right now, and they're still very much the same people, which is really nice. Like and they they've really all, but they've all also grown a little bit, as we can see. Right. And they say, "Have we grown?" They give you that teaser, like, "Have we really grown though?" And they get some fights coming up. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for it. No, it's great. Um, highly recommended if you guys haven't watched it yet. But yeah. 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 Well, I gotta get. I gotta go pay for my Paramount, Paramount Plus now. All right, I'm, get your Paramount Plus on. <laughs> Man, we both I gotta have weird get switches. That, was, that that I don't know what. It must be my ring light. Weird twitch. I button. I'm gonna watch Punky Brewster. I'm gonna get me some Peacock and watch Punky Brewster new. The new. So they have the remake of Punky Brewster now. Another fun. This is my pick pick of the week as well. Here 
They've got a new documentary on Hulu. Have you seen this? I, I watched have, it I, today. I watched, you watched, okay, don't tell me what happens. I watched the first five, 10 minutes before I watched the five o'clock showing of uh, the challenge tonight. And I'm obviously hooked because I'm like, the 90s is my favorite era. It's ever. amazing. I, I, I mean, it's, it, it's, doing, it's, it doesn't disappoint. That's all I'll say. I, I didn't think, I might, I might finish it tonight, but like, um, I also got into Entourage finally, because I finally got HBO Max. Not, I don't, it's my HBO Max. Wait, right. wait, so, I mean, I, I've been get Entourage is fantastic too. So that, but it's so old. It's oh yeah, God, so funny. that's fun to redo the, the now. The phones I'm watching. It's just, it's so crazy how different life was even back in 2000. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited to watch 90. It's called 90 Kid or Kid 90. Man. Kid 90. Kid 90, right. Mm -hmm. and yeah, so everyone watch got, Kid 90 on Hulu if you're so basically old the, enough to remember who Punky Brewster is. Otherwise, you probably the won't care. The storyline there is that she basically filmed everything from her childhood and all the child stars. There was only like, like there's only like 20 of us in the business back in the day. You got Mark Paul Glosser from, from Say by the Bell, one of my favorite shows of all time, blah, blah, blah. They've got them all. A bunch of, nine, yeah. I know two it's really there. fun. It's like getting a really intimate, real look into any adult going back all over all their childhood things but you know everybody that they're talking about because they're all famous so oh, it's really fun it's yeah. it's yeah like super oh, there's, oh, there's, oh also on netflix there's that whole college scandal one called something Op operation varsity blues i haven't watched it yet but Ooh. i watched the first couple minutes so it would save like in my continue right. watching things i don't want to lose it and I don't want to hit that my list thing because they put that at the bottom. I never go down there to see what what's on my list. Oh no, I they have a continue. They have so a continue. I keep, well, the continue when I keep up high, it stays up high. Oh uh, yeah. Yep. But the my list they put at the bottom. I always forget to go down. I there. don't even have a list. Yeah. Uh, so I stopped doing the my list. I, I just so I watch like the first thirty seconds of it just so it would stay there. So that's another thing I have to watch soon. And uh, if you are hanging out with kids, Camp Cretaceous, pretty fun. Oh geez, people it's are like talking Jurassic about Park that. I kids. haven't even checked yeah. it out yet, and I shouldn't. You don't need to because... unless you are with children well i work with kids you know i'm, I'm danny the manny now so yep. yeah yeah all right all right thank you everyone for joining us i think we did almost an hour uh after show including a bunch of picks of the week for you to check yeah. out on paramount plus and netflix and hulu so there you go um pamela daniel signing out we'll see you next week for episode 15 peace